So that's it for our IT onboarding session. Make sure you check your calendar for any meetings coming up. And as always, don't hesitate to reach out to us on Slack if you have any questions. Welcome to Umbrella. Daily stand-up. And then Nicole and I went to see monkeys skiing down the Niagara Falls. It was crazy. Awesome, sounds like you had a fun weekend then. Well, happy Monday, everyone. Uh, today we have Nick joining Wait, us. Wait, is he in bed? For the next four months. So welcome, Nick and we're excited to have you on the team. This is our daily stand-up meeting where we just talk about the progress of the stuff that we're working on. And some of this stuff might not make sense to you at first, but I'm sure you'll ramp up in no time. All right, let's get started with Todd. How's Project Zeta Zoo Xylophone going? Yeah, so Project Triple Z is currently- Doesn't Xylophone start with from X? From a data-driven KPI perspective standpoint, there's lots of moving parts here. So we're looking to double down on our synergy efforts while cascading relevant information to cross-functional teams and stakeholders to make sure this scales. Just make sure you get your geese in a row so we can hit the ground running, okay? Yep, aligned with the geese standpoint. I was actually talking to Steve F from the International Client Containerization Frontend Ads Graph Infrastructure Team about some of the best practices for scripting down JavaScript into Java. Into so Java. maybe touch base with him and see if we can leverage what's in our wheelhouse to get this shipped. Yeah, thanks for flagging. I'll be sure to loop him in. It's actually on my radar already and I'll be attending the deep dive into that at the upcoming dinner and discover. But I just want to quickly call out that my bandwidth is pretty limited this week because we're launching the migration from ASP.NET to ASP.com. Yeah, no problem. We want to make sure the transition is seamless. So let's time box that and let it marinate so we can circle back on it later. Sound good? Yep, aligned. Oh, and Nick, let me peel back the onion on this to give you some context. So this project is our strategic proactive initiative that we've been meticulously iterating on to drive our VIBM to the moon by orchestrating a conceptualized virtual distributed system while also being backwards compatible. Our AI API confirmed that the AWS AB tests have shown a huge lift in not only CTR across CRM and CSS, but also the HTTP and HTML. So overall, it really is going to revolutionize the abstraction of the paradigm shift. Of the paradigm shift, right, of course. Yeah, super exciting work being done to disrupt the industry. And Alex, heard you were pulled into an incident Friday night. What's the hot air balloon view on that? Yeah, I was sort of thrown under the truck there with the Sev Zero because there was an issue with our monolith platform cache packaging backend system, which caused a huge spike in latency in one of our macro services. But I was able to reach for the low hanging fruit to find a quick win there. And I'll be owning the postmortem for that, but there are definitely lots of key learnings to unpack here if we want to hit our OKRs for Q5. Alex, you're a rock star. Kudos to you for thinking outside the box and implementing methodologies across various touch points there to move the needle forward in the haystack. Let's not boil the ocean for now, but thanks for flagging. Yeah, and just wondering if everyone got a chance to review the design doc for the modularization of the horizontal token authentication data system yet. I think it's really gonna propel us to the North Star if we can get this win. Right. Let's put a pin in that for now and we can take this offline. I'll circle back on it by EOD, but let's just make it an action item for now. And if nobody has any questions, then I'll give you all seven minutes back. Sorry, Dave, just to piggyback off of Alex there. Uh, Nick, to give you a single source of truth perspective on our current data system, we're using Amazon Kinesis DynamoDB Elastic Cache Timestream Open Search Service with some Lambda functions gluing it all together. And we were thinking of doing something. Sorry, don't mean to interrupt, but that sounds really complex and expensive. Why don't we just use Redis? They're the most loved database in the world and the sponsor of this video. How would we use Redis? Isn't it just a caching database? Well, actually with Redis Enterprise, you can get a unified real-time data platform. You can use services like Redis Streams to collect data, Redis Time Series for analysis, Redis JSON for persisting data, and Redis Search for indexing. All of these services are in a single system reducing the complexities in architecture and resources required. So really, you can get a unified system that's both fast and cost-effective. I'm listening. And Redis can also be used as a primary database. You already know Redis as a caching database, and most Redis service providers only support Redis as a cache. So usually, you'd still need a separate database, but that just introduces a lot of complexity and latency. Luckily, with Redis Enterprise, we can use Redis as a caching and primary database in a single system that's blazing fast. Wait, really? Yeah, and best part is, you can get $200 in credits for free by signing up for Redis Enterprise using the link in the description. Well, there goes my design doc. See, I knew you'd ramp up quickly. Welcome to the team, Nick, and happy Monday, everyone. Who's a senior engineer now? Nick! Yes, mother? There's an issue with our platform packaging. Oh, issue with our platform packaging packaging. Platform can issue with our platform packaging pack. Platform, I was talking to Steve from the International Client Containerization Frontend Ads Graph Infrastructure Team. I'm running out of breath.